Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Your buddy Tim back with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how much house can you buy in North Alabama with a budget of a million dollars or more. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I get that question a lot. Um, we have a lot of folks relocating here from other areas of the country where the property values are just really insane. I mean, I had a client who sold a, I think it was a 15, 1600 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home in DC and came here with a million dollars in cash to spend. And he was less blown away by the amount of, uh, or by the, uh, the house that he could buy with a million dollars here because it was uh, four or five times the size of the house that he had sold to get here. So um, I thought what I would do, I'm going to do a couple of these videos, but we're going to start off with uh, here in Madison County, uh, primarily Huntsville, uh, Madison, those areas. And we're going to see what you can get for a million dollars plus here in, uh, in the city. So I'm going to uh, share my screen with you now. And this is uh, just a screen in the MLS. Let me get my long range glasses on here. And uh, as you can see, what I've done is I've looked for homes and I'm looking for existing homes. I'm not looking for new construction because there's, there's a lot of new construction going on now that's going to push that price point. But we're looking at existing homes in Madison County uh, in the Huntsville Metro. So these are homes in Madison County with a Huntsville address. All right. And our budget is a million plus. So you can see there are, there are only 13 homes here that are listed for more than a million dollars in Madison County, primarily in the city of Huntsville. Now, if I take that Huntsville off, you're going to see it jumps to 23. There are 10 more. And the reason is there are uh, homes out in the county beyond the uh, city limits. But we're just going to look at ones in Huntsville Metro in this video. And if you like, we can look at other videos as well. So I'm not going to go through every one. I just want to bring up the list here and kind of show you what you can get here with a budget of a million dollars plus, because here a million dollars buys a lot of house. So let's just kind of go through here. You can see, uh, we'll start off here. This one is 2008 Cliff Manor. And this is uh, in an area of Huntsville. It's Monticello Elementary, Randolph. So this is going to be uh, south on the parkway. We're going to go to Governor's Drive like we're going across the mountain to Owens Crossroads. And this is where that house is. So let's just look at some of the stats. 3,980 square feet, four bedrooms, five baths, brand new, exquisitely detailed, truly custom urban farmhouse. They used all the bud words buzzwords on that one. Every room has a wow. Gorgeous light hardwood floors built in wine cellar under the stairs, a butler's pantry in the dining room, a long kitchen island dressed in quartz, open shelving, extra cabinetry, gourmet appliances, stunning designer tile throughout. Master bath uh, is a spa quality with a cast iron tub, uh, brushed brass fixtures, etc. Heated toilet. I want a heated toilet. I get up in the middle of the night to pee a lot. I'm an old man. That Toilet seat can be cold. Uh, anyway, um, so let's look at a couple of the pictures here. This house is brand new. This is new construction, which uh, again, I'm not. Uh, we're not doing under construction, but this one is finished and on the market. And so this probably was built on uh, a land that had a home here before. But let's just look at some of the pictures here. It's pretty. It's a big farmhouse. I like the cedar columns, a lot of white, a lot of uh, hardwood floors and a lot of white, but let's just go through. It's got the wainscoting there in the dining room. Uh, this looks like a wet bar and the dining room again. They're very proud of the dining room. All right. So open floor plan, good windows. You know, it's okay. I mean, is it a, million dollars? I, you know, probably so. You got to remember a lot of times the price of the house reflects the area that it is in. It's not necessarily the house, but this is a nice kitchen. Good size, quartz, tile backsplash. Uh, that's a, a kind of a skinny little island there, but it's okay. You got seating under it. I don't, I don't groove on this quartz. I don't like the quartz with the snake lines. I just like the, uh, 
basically the white quartz, but uh, nice kitchen, nice kitchen, not too, too bad, although this makes it a little narrow to pass through. So it uh, looks like a laundry room, bathroom. Come on, give me some good pictures here, guys. Uh, here is one of the bedrooms, got the wide plank hardwood floors. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for a million dollars. There's the cast iron tub. It does have a large glass-in shower there. It's a nice, uh, nice little study. Got some, some built-ins. I like built-ins to a degree. House has a lot of good light, a lot of windows. That was a big shower. I would really like to see the grounds here, guys. There we go. All right, so there's the backyard. Good size yard. There's the back of the house. Got a covered patio. So, and there is the uh, the overall footprint. So that's a million eighty-seven thousand. It has been on the market eighty-two days. Now that's one of the things to realize when it comes to um, homes in a higher price point. It takes them longer to sell. So they will tend to sit on the market longer. Um, you know, sometimes that opens them up to negotiations. Sometimes it doesn't. So. All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, 1201 Deborah Drive, that is in Greenwich Village, which is down uh, an area called Jones Valley. That is South Huntsville, east on Drake, left on Garth Road. Yeah, this area here, uh, Garth Road, Chandler, a lot of big houses in there. A lot of, uh, they're older homes, but a lot of them have been redone. This one is a million two, 5,500 square feet, four bedrooms, six baths. It has been on the market five days. And let's see, elegant three-story home on a corner lot with an in-ground pool, safe room in the basement with wine cooler. You want your safe room to have a wine cooler because if you're down there hiding out, wine makes everything better. So, uh, Many updates including a new roof, windows, garage doors, gutter and carpet, five wood-burning fireplaces. Uh, this home was built in 77, so it's, uh, it's uh, not as old as the old man here, but it's got some miles on it. But let's take a look at some of the pictures, because this area really is pretty. It's on kind of the lower side of the mountain, and um, very hilly, a lot of trees, as you can see there. Really pretty. I like this house. This is what I call stately. I mean, this really does look like a, a million-dollar-plus house to me. It's older. The architecture is older. You know, and I like that. I get so tired of, of these houses that are, I mean, they all look alike to me now, honestly. They got the same hardwood. They got the same damn gray or white paint. Give me some character, people, and that is some character. So here's a big kitchen. Now, this, this needs some updates. Not going to lie to you, but it's got a big island there with a uh, faucet in it. It's got the wide tile floor. And, and that's the thing. Some people will come into this house, even though it's above a million dollars, and go, eh, it needs updates. It does. All right. So as we click through, nice cabinetry, though. Good, good big kitchen. I like that. Yeah, that tile. I don't know. It does have a gas cooktop, which is good. Cook with gas, bake with electric. Looks like a dining area there. This would be the great room. Look at the uh, designs on the ceiling. Yeah, see, this house, it, it needs remodeling. And so they would have to figure that in the budget, get rid of those curtains. You see the textured wall there. This is nice. Look what a big room this is. What the hell is this, the dance hall? <laughs> We're going to have the prom at my house. <laughs> All right, this is probably the basement because there's got a bar here. Big area here. This would be the, the office or the study because of the dark, uh, the dark wood, it's got the fireplace there. That's kind of nice. The colors, well, I like colors. I'm not sure about, uh, about those colors. So again, another uh, large room here. This would be the master bath. Oh, um, if you like green marble, this could be the home for you. So yeah, lots of good space, but uh, some dated architecture. We see this a lot in uh, South Huntsville, which is where this house is. We've got houses that uh, at one time were very nice, very stately, and you know, time just kind of passes them by. Got a little cedar, is this a sauna maybe, right there? I'm thinking it's a sauna. 
And another bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Okay, I want to see. Yeah, see how dated this is? So whoever buys this house, and that's the thing with these big uh, houses like this, remodel costs uh, go up exponentially because you got so much space to remodel. If you've got 5,600 square feet, Christ, I mean, you can spend, you know, $5 a square foot just doing paint. You can spend 25, 30 grand in paint. So, yeah, need some, uh, need some updating. Let's see if we can find the grounds here. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, look, it's Miss Kitty's bathroom. <laughs> yeah. All right, so got a good garage there. All right, let's see the grounds. Okay, so here's the back of the house. You got some patio area there. There's the pool. This is really nice here. This, this would sell this house, I think, the pool area. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, so that one is a million two. And again, it's uh, 55, 5,600 square feet. Let's take a look at the next one. Boom, that's blue. <laughs> All right, so this one is uh, 4107 Nolan Avenue. Uh, again, that's Governor's Drive, Bankhead. That is up on Montesano Mountain. So let's see, 6,400 square feet, six bedrooms, six baths. It uh, was built in 1981 and has been on the market for 41 days. My dear friend Michelle Ominsky has this house. So, all right, let's take a look. It's blue. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that's a color choice. That's all I can say there is it's a color choice. But I do like the grounds. And this is, uh, you got a mountain view there, which people pay for a mountain view. Don't you, uh, don't you worry. Got a covered deck. That's kind of nice. We could do some clogging out there. Yeah, I'm a clogger. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> so anyway, uh, covered part of the deck. That all looks brand new. All right, so the entry hall, apparently these pictures were taken uh, when it was being remodeled. So this would be probably, there's the stairwell. Okay. I'd really like to see this after it's remodeled. I'll have to come back, so. Nice wainscoting. It's got the, the nice ceiling there with the cross beams. Kitchen. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell at this point what it's going to be, but uh, you got a good space there anyway. Yeah, that tile floor. I hate that tile. All right, there's a bathroom. That's interesting. This would, this would give me a seizure if I was showering in there, I guess, so. All right, so there's a tub. So this is probably the master bath. This is the walk-in shower, kind of nice. Got a little window there. Got a window out back so the peeping toms can see it. Hmm. Yeah, in interesting design choices on this one. Um, anyway, we'll come back and take a look at this one when it is completed. Fabulous remodel, top of Montesano. Montesano is what we uh, passes as our mountain here. And uh, you do get some really nice views up there. So, all right, so that one's a million too as well. Let's see if the next one, uh, 3030 High Mountain Road. That is in, where is this? Uh, I-65 East, left on Mountain View. Okay, this is out toward High Mountain States, Chapman School. So this is going to be to the northeast. 4,200 square feet, built in 2006, been on the market 206 days. It is at $1,250,000. So, been on the market a long time. Let's see, panoramic views of Huntsville from this custom uh, estate. It's on one acre, situated on one acre, five bedroom, uh, four bedroom, five bath home. Blah, 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 blah. Let's look at pictures. <laughs> All right, so that's really pretty. That's a pretty picture taken at sunset there. This is more of a manor house. It's got the big columns. Here is a view of the back. This one is in a neighborhood. Now, that's an entrance hall right there, my friend. That's beautiful. Marble floor. Got the high ceilings, the double doors, the open archways. I like that. Yeah, when you walk into a house like this, you go, yeah, million dollars. 
All right, so here's the study. See, they got a splash of color there. Got the uh, whole wall of windows going out to the back. That's kind of nice. I like that. I love windows. My wife hates windows. She puts blinds on every window in the house. I like light. So anyway, good light there. Fireplace. Very pretty. I like the stairs. Not zinging about the furniture, but what do I know? All right, so here's the kitchen. You know... It's, it's a decent size. It's got the dark cabinets. What the hell is that? Is that granite? I don't know. Let me go back. Yeah, you know, I would, I would expect a nicer kitchen, but that's just me. I'm kind of a snob <laughs> when it comes to kitchen. All right, here's a dining area. Again, high ceilings, high ceilings and low floors. I love that in the house. Lots of good light. So again, this is more of a manor house. It's got the, the heavy crown molding. It's got the high ceilings. Um, it's a little dated, but it's really pretty. I do like this house a lot. So that's odd, kind of a, I guess that's the shower, yeah. And then there's the tub back there. This would be the master maybe. Yeah, and a lot of times you don't know what you're gonna find in these houses. I've actually gone in houses that were one and a half, two million dollars, and the master bathroom was just really tiny, or the kitchen was small. Um, and you have to wonder what folks were thinking as they did that. Let me see if I can find other pictures. Yeah, yeah. And see, these walls are different color. This house was built at a time when they used different color to delineate rooms. Now it's all agreeable gray. All right, so there's the back. You got a nice tiled patio there, really pretty. Really pretty, I like this house a lot. Mm, okay, so there you go. That one is a million two fifty. Not bad at all. All right, uh, this one, 2980 High Mountain Road, a million two, six, eight, nine hundred. Let's see, 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, five baths. It was built in 2005. My buddy Victor has this listed. Um, initial, blah, 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 exquisite custom built five bedroom, five bathroom home situated on a large lot. Luxury home is quality workmanship throughout. Uh, soaring coffered ceilings, extensive detailed moldings, hardwood floor, tile, granite, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's look at pictures, shall we? All right, so th these houses are really close together. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, okay, that looks like a million dollar home. That is the front there. Pretty, got a little water feature there. Got your stairs. Okay. Okay, so dining room, again, this is an older home, so it does have color. It does have paint on the walls that is not agreeable gray like the columns here, got the high ceilings and the arches. This is your entrance hall, very pretty. I do like the floors. I like a, a lighter wood grain, um, has beige walls. Again, it's a custom home. Um, it's kind of cool. Boy, that's a big couch. Holy crap, that's a large couch. So, But I do like the wall of windows. I do like the, uh, the fireplace. It is kind of narrow, um, but that's okay. It's all right, not bad. I think it, it looks small because that damn couch is so big. So it looks like uh, entranceway there. Let's keep going. Dining room does have the, uh, the um, I'm drawing a blank, the ceiling with the beams. <laughs> it's the cross beam ceiling. All right, so I guess uh, it's got two dining rooms or a dining room with a breakfast nook right next door. Let's see what the kitchen looks like, okay. I like this. I like white cabinets, double oven, microwave, gas cooktop, fridge there. It's got a, a, a good island. We love our island at home. We sit at that damn island all the time. I'm not grooving on this here granite, if that's what that is. That is a choice right there. Uh, and that's the thing, a lot of these, well, hell, most of them, custom homes where they were built by 
people who hired a, a builder to build it for them to their specs. Sometimes you see uh, some interesting design choices, and that is one uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, all right, so you got a laundry room. Oh, uh, I think that would be called a powder bath. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I make myself laugh sometimes. All right, so bedroom looks like the master bath. Got a big shower. Not bad. Tiled. Yeah. Oh, it's the green room. This is where all the comedians sit before they go on. Is the green room. So, all right. So, you know, it's it's not terrible. Again, the, the house is a little older. Needs some uh, needs some updates maybe. All right. So I assume that is a hot tub there. Got a built-in uh, swimming pool, which is really nice water feature so pretty really really pretty so you know it's got its pluses and minuses this one is a million two six eight nine hundred it has been on the market oh 503 days holy crap might be time for a price uh, reduction anyway all right so you might like that one let's let's continue on i think i went to the wrong one let's see all right, Lake Forest Drive. This one is in uh, is in Madison. If you go down uh, Zert Road, which we talk about a lot on the show, it's uh, south of Madison. There's an area there called Lake Forest. Some good houses down there. Uh, this one is a million three. This is six Lake Forest Boulevard, 5,400 square feet. It is a four five, uh, built about six to ten years ago, and has been on the market for ten days. So. Not bad. Lake Forest is a really, really hot area. This one will probably sell pretty quick. Let's take a look at the pictures real quick. Really pretty at the uh, sunset there. All right, so there's an overhead. This is Lake Forest. There is the little neighborhood lake there. Looks nice. Okay, shows well from the front. Got your stone. There's your entrance, uh, entrance hall or foyer. If it's a small house, you call it a foyer. If it's a large house, it's an entrance hall. See, you learn something right there, a fact that you'll be talking about tomorrow at the water cooler. So uh, entrance hall, um, you know, it's it's kind of blah. I mean, it's it's not really ornate. It's just kind of, kind of there. Um, this will be the dining room. Is that tile? I guess that's tile. So, very large dining room. There is a great room. I do not like this floor at all. You should not have done it on an angle like that. That's just weird. Just my opinion. It's just weird. Okay, so that's interesting. Then this would probably be a study. Here is the kitchen. So, the kitchen's not bad. I like the white cabinets. I do like the, uh, the granite. I, I just don't like this tile. This floor just does not do it for me. Mm, 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 mm. We'd have to do something about that. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, but good sized kitchen. And then back to the dining room. This would be probably the laundry room. Uh, I assume this is a bedroom. Here would be the master bath. Man, they, they, they got the beige working. So you got split vanities there. Corner tub. Not a fan of tubs. Uh, we just remodeled our house and took out the tub out of the master bath and did a big shower. Um, all right, so that's a, a good deep shower, but kind of, kind of thin. I assume this is the master closet. That's a good space. My wife would like that. Um, what is this, basement? That a, this is probably theater staging. They probably had a TV on one wall, and this was a base where their, uh, where their chairs went. Yep, bingo. There's the screen. There's the overhead projector. They had seating there. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can uh, take a look at the outside. A lot of pictures. All right, so it's got a back patio. It's got a fire fireplace. Good yard. Yeah, a million three. <laughs> Did you see the face? 
Yeah, million three is the price on that one. So, all right, let me chug along here. I'm taking far too long on each one of these. Uh, next, we've got 2207 Little Street, a million three eight fifty. One million three hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. This is South Huntsville. Uh, Bob Wallace, Priest Whitesburg. Yep. Um, Seventy-five hundred square feet, five bedrooms, six baths. Built in nineteen seventy-one. We've been on the market one hundred and sixty-five days. Uh, let's see. Five bedroom, contemporary mountain retreat. Perfect for entertaining. Uh, totally renovated, including electrical and plumbing, which is nice. Uh, open concept chef's chi kitchen, kitchen with a six burner stove, double ovens, three sinks, gorgeous granite countertops, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's look at pictures. Okay, I want to look at the outside first, guys. Show me the outside. All right, so this is a remodeled home in South Huntsville. And it, it's really interesting. And I do a lot of flipping in South Huntsville. So, you know, the outside of the home that has been flipped rarely matches the inside, you know, because you can't really change the outside architecture too much. You can paint and landscape, but you know, the, the build of the house itself, to me, this looks like the Brady house. So, all right, here's the back. It's got a uh, driveway garage in the rear. Um, I'm assuming this is the kitchen. I don't know who took these pictures, but uh, it's kind of interesting. It is, a modern look. You've got a uh, eat-in dining room there. Your living room is there. You have to be really careful, guys, if you're flipping a house. You don't want to open up too many walls. I like an open concept floor plan, but if it, like that, was just kind of odd, everything there together. Uh, floating staircase. Yeah, see, I mean, this is open. This is very open. Oh, I do not like that floor. Uh -uh. I wouldn't have picked that. But anyway, Got your dining room. It looks like a living room here, kitchen there. Oh, wow. Again, uh, design choices. Design choices. I'm sure it was not a cheap slab of granite. Um, all right, so here's the outside. Yeah, I mean, this is very, very contemporary. If you like contemporary, I have a house for you, if you don't. <laughs> so again, a million three hundred eighty-five thousand for that one. Uh, okay, here is 4088 Northeast High Mountain Road. This is, uh, yeah, Epworth High Mountain Road. We looked at one on High Mountain Road already. Uh, breathtaking views of Huntsville from this custom-built executive home. Enjoy this four-bedroom, five-bath home with exclusive features such as beautiful open concept. Chef's kitchen with stainless steel appliances, five-star six-burner stove with built-in griddle. Surround yourself. Surround yourself with warmth in the spacious sunroom. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 5161, 5,161 square feet, four bedrooms, five baths. Been on the market 165 days. So let's take a look. Uh, I like the outside. That is... Uh, very nice, stately. You know, I'm not a huge fan of rock, but it works. I like the arches. Yeah, I mean, this looks like an expensive house, right? Uh, so this would be the living room. Uh, gorgeous open space with views of the city. Uh, hire a photographer, Christ's sake. This would be the living room. I assume there's a fireplace there. Wow, that's a lot of columns. That's a lot of columns. I do like that hardwood, but it doesn't match this hardwood. Okay, so that looks like a living room area, open floor plan. You got your living room there. You got a kitchen there. You know, I mean, this is almost too monochromatic for me, and I know that's a really silly thing to say, but it's true. There's a lot of beige. Uh, the cabinets are beige. It's got the granite countertops. I do love a six burner gas uh, gas uh, cooktop though. So there is that. But okay, good open floor plan. There's a butler's pantry. Okay, nice. It's got a sunroom, which is nice. I love a sunroom. Sit up there 
and bask in the warmth. All right, so that looks good. Um, I guess this is an office, bedroom, bedroom. This would be the master bath. Interesting. Got a vanity there for him, vanity here with a dressing area for her. Uh, got a tub, shower is back here. Yeah, I don't like a glass shower. I don't want anybody watching me when I shower. It's not pretty. Not anymore. <laughs> not since the 80s. Whoa, there's a uh, little periwinkle bathroom for you there. Yeah, let's just get out of here. So I kind of like the outside. Kind of like it. This one is a million four fifty. One million four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Let's see what's next. We're almost at the end, guys. Bear with me. Uh, here's another one in Greenwick Heights on Bohannon Drive, $1,475,000. Again, this is South Huntsville, um, 7,000 square feet, six bedrooms, six baths. It has been on the market 52 days. And let's see, stunning home, uh, prime location, five minutes to Jones Valley, blah, blah, blah. Uh, heart of pine flooring, soaring ceilings abound. Uh, yeah, let's look at pictures. All right, so I like the outside, not not bad. It's, um, it really takes up a lot of that lot, but that's okay. Not everybody wants a lot of land. Don't listen to me. <laughs> All right, let's see the inside here, folks. Come on, you can do it. Show me the inside. Give me the inside. All right, the land is, is pretty, yeah. Okay, so here is the gathering room. Not to be confused with a great room or a living room. It's a gathering room where people gather. All right, there's the kitchen. Now again, this house is, uh, is older, so it does have uh, walls that are gonna be more colorful uh, than uh, newer homes that everything is agreeable gray. I think it's really sad that even our paint has to be uh, unoffensive. In, in this world, it's just stupid. All right, so there's uh, like a den. Now this is kind of neat. This would be probably a uh, gathering room with the foyer, okay? The foyer's there. That's interesting, isn't that? Yeah. Looking down from the balcony. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the kitchen. You got an eat-in area here. Um, the hearth room. Yeah, hearth room is basically just a room typically off the kitchen that has a fireplace in it. Okay, so looking at the kitchen, you know, I, I don't dislike the cabinets. They're okay. Double ovens, got the fridge, yeah. Mm, interesting. Is this the same kitchen we were just looking at? A photographer works wonders. I gotta tell you, if I was selling a million dollar house, I would have better pictures, it's just me. All right, I assume this is the master bathroom, tile floor, cabinets, granite, yeah. There's a shower there, it does have the rain head, it's got the large tub, so I think it's had some updates. Now, down, downstairs, we had a walkout basement, game room. A walkout basement means that the entire basement is not below ground level, that you can walk out into the yard. And typically, we see these on uh, houses with, um, with hills, oddly enough. All right, theater room, yeah, it's okay. It's just okay, million four, seven, five. Yeah. All righty, let's see what's next. Okay, 2908 Thornblade. I wish that was my name. What's your name? Thornblade. Colonel Thornblade. All right, this is another South Huntsville home, Jones Valley, down Whitesburg and Drake. A million five, 1.5 million. It's uh, 5,000 square feet, four bedrooms, five baths, built in 2011. Been on the market uh, zero days. So this is a brand new listing. Let's take a look at the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice neighborhood there. Thornblade uh, is a nice area. 
All right, so here is the foyer. Got your, uh, got your beige motif work in there. Okay, so this is the living room. The, you know, it, it's hard to judge a house when it's full of furniture like this. It's hard to look at the rooms and see how big they are because look how big this furniture is and how butt-ass ugly these drapes are. Uh, it just doesn't show well. It just doesn't show well at all. Butler's pantry. All right, so here's the kitchen. I like the kitchen now. I like the, you know, the lighter cabinets, the white cabinets with the granite. It's got a, a rack above. Yeah, not bad. Again, it's got your gas oven there. Nice pantry. This would be the uh, the family room, probably right off the kitchen. Got a nice fireplace. Get, got the cross beeps. Just got too much stuff in it, guys. Too much stuff. You know, when people walk into a house, oh, I mean, take those fucking curtains. When people walk into a house, they want to imagine their stuff in the house. And if the house is full of somebody else's stuff, it's really hard to wrap your head around it. Like that's a really nice closet there. A lot of stuff. All right. I assume this is the master bath. It's got double vanities. Got a little dressing area there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So a million five for this one. All right, we got three more. We're almost there, guys. I promise. All right, I like this house. This is 511 Holmes Avenue. This is in uh, Old Town, which is the historic district of, uh, of Huntsville. This house is a million six four nine, one million six hundred and forty nine thousand dollars. That's how much a square foot. Holy, three hundred sixty six dollars a square foot. Holy cow. Um, humble abode to McGee's residence built in 1904, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, newly renovated home, combination of Victorian Tudor, Greek Revival, Queen Anne. They got, they just threw all the styles in there. It's like uh, fruit salad, uh, foyer showcases, impressive fireplace, crystal chandelier, stairwell, blah, blah, blah. All right, so 4,400 square feet, again, built in 1904. I just love the style on these old houses. So you can see it's, uh, it's more of a Victorian look on the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. These are pretty big. There you go. This is how you photograph a house. I think Shalou did this one. So it's got a nice porch there, or what the rich folks call a veranda. Yeah. Uh, all right, going inside. Now, here's the thing. This home was built in 1904, so you're going to see, hopefully, uh, some historic architecture. And that's the kind of thing I like in a house because I am uh, historic architecture. <laughs> Look at me. So, All right, so looks like a living room. Got hardwood floors. Look at that ooh, fireplace. Got that cool mantle. You know, this is not going to be to everybody's taste. A lot of people do not like historic homes. I love them. Can't afford one, but I do love them. So look at that mantle there. Okay, so this looks like a little sitting room. You know, it's got character. I like that. like that. Not crazy about that, but all right. This would be the dining room. Now you get into some design choices I'm not grooving on. This kind of a mint green is okay, but that fireplace there, I don't know about. So here's the kitchen. Looks like it's been remodeled uh, as well. You got the quartz countertops, you got the white cabinets, you got the backsplash. You know, it's, it can be really difficult to um, update or remodel an older house like this because back when this home was built in 1904, um, the wants and needs of the uh, of the person were very different. Now everybody likes open floor plan. They like quartz. They like uh, granite. They like a big bathroom. Uh, you know, back when this house was built, things were different. They they walled off a lot of things. So in a lot of the older houses, the the kitchen is smaller, although this is not a, bit, a bad kitchen, just as a very large island. So, kind of nice though, you got your uh, microwave there. I like it, it's light, it's pretty. This would be, looks like a family room. 
bedroom. Uh, interesting. I'm thinking this is the master. Um, I'm, I, I hate these little vanities like this. I, I just don't like them, but that's just me. So it does have a double vanity. It's got the uh, tub right there, toilet right there. It's got a little bit of, little bit of tile. This is, a, this is dated, but again, it's a historic home. Got a uh, shower there. Mm -hmm. Nice closet. It's like a downstairs area. Yeah, I like this. I like the I like the design choices. There's the kitchen. So this is going upstairs. I like the shiplap on the wall. Yeah, they've kind of thrown in just a lot of different styles here, but it's it's cool. You know, there's a game room. And you know, a lot of people will buy this house. Wow, you're gonna burn your butt if you're. It's kind of a. But again, remember when this house was built. Uh, narrow room, so you got to make do with the space. This is kind of space, but um, you know the kind of people that like this kind of home, they, they don't care about it being dated or the rooms being wonky or anything like that. So, all right, look at this. This is uh, looks like a bar. This is probably downstairs. Interesting. I lived in a house once where the owner had turned the basement into a Belgian pub. Uh, it even had a disco ball. It's the only reason I bought the house was the disco ball. All right, so this is the back. Okay, so I like this. I like a historic home. I don't know if I like it a million six four nine, but maybe somebody will. All right, a couple more. This one is five two six four Rustic Trail. This is actually one of our listings here at Revolved. Um, this is on the market for a million seven. Let me give you a little history of this home. 6,200 square feet, but this is being used as a wedding venue. So you've got this stately home, and then you've got all these grounds, and you've got this wedding hall, and this can either be uh, purchased for uh, to live there, or you could purchase it and continue the, uh, the events that they do. They do weddings here, uh, all kinds of uh, events, graduations, parties. It is a beautiful piece of property. And this is outside, there's a gazebo. All of these are chairs lined up. You see it from above. Yeah, the entire backyard there, all of these areas are for, are for events. And again, the house itself is, is really pretty. It sits on a really nice lot. There's the gazebo there. Yeah, see they had all the uh, chairs lined up because they were having a wedding. And so yeah, this is available either as uh, a residence, or if you wanted to take it on as a business, again, you could do um, do this as a wedding venue. It's just really gorgeous. The only downside to the house is this was actually built to be a venue. So there, there are bathrooms, there are bedrooms, there's all kinds of stuff in the house. Very small kitchen. It only has a prep kitchen. But if you buy this and remodel, it will be totally amazing. So this is a million seven. Again, sits on three and a half acres. I mean, the land is uh, is very valuable. So, all right. So finally, we get to the most expensive house currently on the market in Madison County. It's on my old stomping grounds, 1244 Douglas Road. This is in um, it's Huntsville City, but it's actually out toward Harvest. It's going to be north of Madison. Um, this is a beautiful estate, three and a quarter acres. It has 8,600 square feet, six bedrooms, eight baths. Everybody can pee at once. It's been on the market for 292 days at a million nine fifty. So uh, really pretty. I know this house. This house is actually across the street from where I used to live uh, in my old house, which wasn't as nice as this one. I got to tell you. So, all right. So there is the entrance hall. Uh, again, this house is going to be somewhat dated, um, but beautiful entrance hall there. There is the stairway going up. You can see, I mean, different colors. I don't think red is a good color, though, but here is the dining room. And the great room, a lot of windows, which I really love. There is the fireplace. Is that a TV? Ah, yeah. Remember those TVs? 
<laughs> so where are you going to hang your TV? Probably up there, right? Okay. So let's keep going. I want to see the kitchen. Okay, so wow, this is the formal library. And again, um, you know, the folks that built this house liked colors. This is what they chose. Um, I think one of the complaints that they may get now from people is that it's, again, dated. It needs paint. But All right, so here is the breakfast area. I want to see the kitchen. I, I really base a lot on the kitchen. So there's granite. Got wood cabinets. I hate this freaking thing that pops up here. Damn it. Go away. I'm going to have to complain. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's a sunroom. So, did I miss the kitchen? Okay, so I guess that's, that's the kitchen. I was hoping for a much nicer kitchen. Um, yeah, you would expect something. So there's, there's the, uh, the master bath, double vanities, walk-in shower. Here is the walk-out basement. This is a huge rec room here. Man, that is ginormous. You could put all kinds of stuff down there. Oh, it's kind of sad. Look at that little TV. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so it does have six garages, which is cool. The land is nice. I like the back, that's kind of neat. I like all those windows. Covered porch, here's the veranda. Poor people's porch. Uh, this grass would be a bitch to cut, to cut. Of course, if you lived here, you're not gonna cut the grass yourself, right? So anyway, there's a top-down view. Kind of neat, kind of neat, just a little dated. But uh, yeah, not, not terrible. I'm not crewing on the kitchen, so. Anyway, so there you go. At the moment, today, this is the most expensive house on the market in um, Madison County with a Huntsville address. So, but again, you can get a lot of house here uh, if your budget is a million dollars or more. And so just keep that in mind. Again, the reason we're talking about this is because I have so many clients relocating here uh, with huge budgets, bring lots of money with them, and these are the type homes that we are we're looking at. So, hey, uh, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, um, click the little bell notification icon so you never miss another video. And don't forget, if you are looking to relocate here, uh, we've got Revolved Realty, we've got 80 agents on the ground right now ready to go to work for you to help find you the perfect home regardless of your budget. You may not have a million dollar budget. You may have something smaller. You may have something bigger. We don't know. We don't care. We will help you find the perfect home. So, all right, guys. Hey, do me a favor. In the comments below, let me know, did you like any of these houses? Are you surprised at what you can get for a million dollars or more here in North Alabama? And uh, if you didn't like all these houses, tell me why. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, but I'd really like to get your feedback as to what your thoughts were on these particular homes. So, all right, guys, that's it. If I can do anything for you, my contact information is below. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.